Okay guys, welcome back to the Java Spring Boot Essentials course. Today we are covering exception handling. So the problem is, when an exception is thrown, we need to tell the UI what happened in an elegant way. Right now, we're returning this error shown on the right that has a timestamp, a status, an error, and a path. And this is a decent start, but the status is wrong. This exception was generated during a product not found exception. So really the status should be 404. And the error should say something like product not found because it was not an internal server error, this was a client error. So we need to better handle the status and better handle the error message. Our eventual goal is a custom elegant message that the UI can pass on to the user with the correct HTTP status and we will work our way up to this. We will not be able to get there in this video. So we're gonna break down this concept into three videos or three parts. First, we're going to use the built-in spring exception handling, and this will be done through the properties file. Part two, which will be the next video, will be custom exception handling at the controller level. If you're already familiar with Java Spring Boot exception handling, this is where we use the at exception handler annotation. And then part three will be the custom exception handling globally. And this is where we use the at controller advice annotation. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to look at our controller and we're going to focus on an exception specific to our get product. So if you haven't seen my previous videos, essentially we're passing in an ID of the product and then we have a query handler. So all of the logic for actually getting the product exists in this query handler. So let's look at it. So we pass in the ID, we then call the product repository dot find by ID, and we get back an optional product that could have a product in it or it could not. And then we check to see if it's empty. And then if it is, we need to throw a new runtime exception, product not found. So let's just run this and see how it's currently working. Making my way over to Postman, I have my get endpoint, I'm doing products, and in my repository, there is no product that has an ID of 10. So I'm gonna click send, and I get back that error we saw earlier with a timestamp, a status, an error, and a path. So this is Java Spring Boot's built-in exception handling. Let's see how we can make this message or error a little bit better. So we're going to go over to our properties file, application.properties, and I'm going to uncomment this line. This is server.error.include-message equals always. This is going to add in a message to the response. So let's see how this looks. Resending the request, and this time we get a message, product not found. This is taken directly from the string that we passed in here. So we passed in a string to our exception, it then generated the message and sent it back to us. So this is already a lot better, but we can do more. So the next thing we can do is include the stack trace. So making our way back over to our properties file, we're going to do server.error.include-stacktrace equals always. Let's rerun the application. Resend the request. And now we get our stack trace, java.lang.runtime, product not found. And if you're not familiar, this exactly matches the stack trace shown in the console. Product not found. So off the bat, this is a better response than before, but we still haven't changed our status, and this is still a bit more than we want to send back to the UI. So in the next video, we'll talk about custom exception handling.